Our pace of living leaves us little time for leisure. Our program will give you a chance to experience the fascinating world of traveling, extreme adventures, hunting and fishing. Each week we will take you to the most beautiful places of Kazakhstan. In the spring, when valleys covered with bright green grass and gardens with apricots and cherry trees are blooming, Almaty residents go outside the town to the steppe to collect mushrooms. In the summer, mushrooms grow in the mountain forests and cover territories of Zaili Alatau. Mushroom caps of Lactarius rhizumis, Augusta and Russula can be found under the mighty pine trees. But in the spring, avid mushroom collectors come here to the Malaysari Ridge. On one of the weekend days, we decided to set out on another journey in order to get lots of positive emotions and have a good rest breathing fresh air. Having left Almaty, in one hour we drove into the road leading to the Bakana settlement. Traveling here, we couldn't miss an opportunity to visit the gallery of the famous petroglyphs. Experienced travelers, when traveling to the Malaysari Pass, normally visit Tamgalitas to see the famous drawings carved in stone. If you drive out of the asphalt driveway, along an unpaved road towards the bank of the river of Ili, you will see a small ridge and red rock sprawled for several hundred meters. One of the rocks stands out forming a wide gap that goes narrow to the base of the rock. This place is called harbour by rock climbers. Every spring, when snow melts, teams of rock climbers come here, set up a campsite and practice climbing the rocks, sharpening their skills. To onlookers, they resemble quick lizards, they create an impression they can move even on the surface of a ceiling. There are climbing routes for both beginners and advanced climbers. On the one side of the rock, a sloping side, beginners of bouldering and children can exercise, and on the other side, along the river, there are steeper routes for more experienced climbers. Here, 120 kilometers away from Almaty, there is an open-air temple. The rocks have numerous petroglyphs, signs and drawings of ancient gods and late Buddhist scripts. About a thousand rock drawings are of great interest for archaeologists. But the most outstanding drawing is the drawing of Buddha Shakyamuni, Buddha of the Limitless Light, Amitabh, and Bodhisattva of the Boundless Sympathy, Avalokiteshvara. Apart from the Buddhist heritage, there is a stone that has ancient Turk runic scripts that may belong to the 8th or 9th century BC. It is implied that in around the 10th century, one of the Buddhist missions stayed here during their crusade to the land of the Seven Rivers, Jetusu. According to a legend, there was an earthquake and one of the rocks split up which the Buddhists considered a sign from gods, calling the expedition back to India. On the split piece of rock we can see images of Buddha carved in rock. There is another opinion. These scripts and images may have been left by Mongol nomads. Tamgalitas first became an object of studies at the end of the 19th century. A researcher, scientist and traveller, Chokhan Valihanov, made sketches of the sites and a Mongol studies researcher, Alexei Pazneev, wrote a description of the site in the Izvestia, a Russian geographic society. Tamgalitas is a historical and cultural monument and is protected by the government of Kazakhstan. An Italian archaeologist, Renato Sala, wrote, Tamgalitas is a rare monument. It was a Buddhist temple, which was used for prayers and meditations. 
similar rock drawings were found in Kyrgyzstan, China, Tibet, Pakistan and in the center of Buddhism, India. The rocks nearby have been used for climbing for decades, right behind the stone with the Buddha image. This site is a popular place for rock climbing festivals, car races and rescue team exercise. Several generations of rock climbing athletes have grown taking part in these competitions. Near Almaty, there are several rock sites suitable for extreme climbing. It's Medel, the Isik Pass, where there is the so-called Kremlin Wall and the rocks of Tamgalitas. This sport has gained popularity and avid climbers come to Tamgalitas to exercise. It is also a favorite place for those who are keen on fishing. They come here and set up their little campsites up or down the river Ili. The place is ideal for those who want to spend some time in solitude, being only surrounded by the natural landscape, the river and the steppe. But this time fishing here is not allowed yet, so instead of fishing we went collecting mushrooms. At the Malaysari Pass there is a border between two districts. Here there is the Balhash district and we have just reached this border and starting from here an unpaved road starts. We are going to drive about 20 to 25 kilometers along this road to the destination where we hope to collect the mushrooms. It's a pleasant car trip and we have already covered 120 kilometers from Almaty another 20 kilometers left to get to the destination. Anyone keen on collecting mushrooms knows that quite often their expectations of a mushroom place are not met. You may arrive with a few baskets and leave the place with no mushroom in them. A small ridge, 80 kilometers long in the Almaty district, was named after Malaysari warrior who was Ablai Khan's follower, who belonged to a middle Jews. Ablai Khan's real name was Abil Mansur. He was called Ablai Khan after one of the battles against the Jungarian warlord Sharish, when Abil Mansur used the battle cry Ablai. As for the geographical location, the height of the ridge is 1,200 meters above sea level. It rises over the steppe, and we cannot call these ridges mountains. They look like green hills with very few plants. But among the hardy kinds of weeds like Artemisia and the Jungarian ferula, there may be some mushrooms. The white step mushroom can only be found in the spring in the southern part of Kazakhstan. The mushroom rises from the ground here at the end of April or the beginning of May. It usually grows in deserts and pastures where herbs from the class Umbrella ferai grow. Here it is, a lovely one. This is the white mushroom. That's what we have come here for. I'm going to cut it now. It hasn't grown large yet. If the mushroom hasn't been noticed by collectors, its cap changes its color and shape change as it grows further. The over-ripened mushroom looks like a funnel and its cap is 25 centimeters in diameter. The mushroom has dense flesh. It is a good source of protein. One such mushroom contains from 15 to 25 percent of protein, which can be compared to dairy products and meat. Mushrooms contain more protein than most vegetables. It's quite small. But the fact that we've found it tells us that this place has some mushrooms. We knew there were mushrooms at the Malaysaripas. This mushroom is small, probably because it hasn't rained for a long time here. But we can see that the step is green. Okay, let's see if we will find more than one mushroom. It can be pickled and fried, but this time we are not very lucky, as it seems that other mushroom collectors have already been here before us.
Spring is a mating time for animals. Step tortoises have woken up after their hibernation and were rambling across the area. We have to watch out not to step on them. After their hibernation, these creatures look like miniature dragons. While collecting mushrooms, we could see some scenes which would not surprise local people, but for us, city inhabitants, they were quite amusing. We managed to videotape some of the mating of tortoises that to us looked like a tortoise race. During the mating season, male tortoises compete with each other to have the right for mating. For desert tortoises, this turns to chasing their rival to fight with the rival. They try to turn their rival over, hit and even bite each other. Male tortoises of a certain type emit some primitive sounds when mating to attract a female. Who could imagine that usually slow and quiet tortoises are capable of such activities? Today we have seen different sorts of tortoises. They were of different sizes, small and large. This one is probably the smallest one we have seen today. The steppe wakes up in the spring with tortoises rambling around. Let's leave it alone. Tortoises have two kinds of hibernation, in the summertime when it's hot and in the winter and the summer hibernation may turn to the winter hibernation. The period when they are awake in the autumn lasts for about 10 to 12 days. In the summertime, hibernation takes place because of lack of food, as the steppe grass gets burned in the sun. The origin of tortoises is still a disputable question. They are considered to be the descendants of firm Catilosaurus, small, lizard-like creatures with small but very wide ribs that formed a shell on their backs. Also, there is another opinion. Some scientists think that tortoises originate from a separate group of parareptiles. The first tortoise that was found in fossils is believed to live 220 million years ago in the Mesozoic era during the Triassic period. The prehistoric tortoise had only one shell that protected the animal's belly and it had teeth which is not typical of the modern turtles. Later, this species evolved into a turtles with a shell on its back, but it still had teeth. Out of 26 types of turtles familiar to scientists, 12 types still exist today. But that's not all we have seen on our way to the mushroom spot. We came across a camel spider, or solifugi, which was not very pleasant. Before traveling in deserts and steppes, one must remember that such places have quite a lot of snakes, scorpions and these scary creatures, camel spiders. Solifugis are animals too large to be called insects. They belong to the class of Arachnida. The Central Asian solifugi is 5 to 7 centimeters long. Their body and limbs are covered with fringes. These spiders don't have toxic glands. However, their chalicerae have the remains of their victims and to us their bite may become dangerous because of germs they have in their chalicerae. No wonder most of us would prefer either to avoid it or swat it. We decided to leave it alone. We returned home at night with empty baskets but full of positive emotions.